In this video, we will demonstrate how to thaw peripheral blood mononuclear cells, or PBMCs, for maximum cell viability and recovery. Cryopreserved human PBMCs are frequently used in the study of biological processes and drug development, and for applications such as in vitro cell-based assays. Proper handling and thawing of these cells is critical for obtaining optimal viability and recovery. Begin by warming your wash medium to 37 degrees Celsius. And we recommend using RPMI with L-glutamine and 10% FBS. Place files on dry ice when transferring from liquid nitrogen storage to your lab. It is important to minimize exposure to room temperature prior to thawing. Place the vial of cryopreserved PBMCs in the water bath. Submerge the vial halfway and thaw for approximately two minutes by gently swirling in the water. Be careful not to immerse the vial below the level of the cap to avoid any potential contamination of the cells. Monitor the vial closely and continue thawing until just before the last ice crystal is melted. Do not vortex the cells. Transfer vial to a biosafety cabinet and wipe the outside with 70% ethanol or isopropanol, focusing on the cap area. Pour thawed cells into a 15 milliliter tube with 5 milliliters of RPMI that has been pre-warmed to 37 degrees Celsius. Rinse the vial with 2 milliliters of pre-warmed RPMI and pour into a 15 milliliter tube to recover the remaining cells. Incubate the cells for 5 minutes at 37 degrees Celsius. Centrifuge the cell suspension at 260 times G at room temperature for 5 minutes with low break. When finished, a PBMC pellet should be visible at the bottom of the tube. Pour off the supernatant. Gently resuspend the cell pellet in 2 milliliters of warmed medium. Mix the cell solution carefully to make sure there are no clumps. You may now count the cells and determine viability. And we recommend incubating the PBMCs overnight in a CO2 incubator at 37 degrees Celsius before using the PBMCs in cell-based assays. And that's it! Your cells are now ready for use in downstream applications. For more information on PBMCs and other scientific resources, visit us at cytologicsbio.com.